Example of it. I just want to know what is a material now. You have learned this. That's why. Yeah. Who remembers? Mm. Who remembers? Dia, can you say? Do you remember Dia? How many of you remember? Raise your hand. Huh? How many of you? How many of you? I just don't want the example. Ameya is ready. Ameya, just unmute and say Ameya then. Yeah, you are already unmuted. Okay. A material noun is a material oh. that that. Okay, I'll make it more clear. What she said is correct. It's a name given to any material or substance with which things are made. Is it clear to you? A material noun is a name given to any material or substance with which things are made. Clear? Yes. What did I say now? Dia, can you repeat? Unmute and repeat. You can say in your own words. Try. Speak louder. Material is the name of a substance that. Or material okay. with which okay. things are made. Sapna, can you repeat that? Sapna. Material or substance is the name given to any material or substance with which things are made. You know the names of many materials, isn't it? Some of you are seeing the examples of many materials, which are very common. If you see around your room, you can see a lot of materials. Things are made with a lot of materials. Can you say one day, Vidarshan? Can you say one example of a material now? Unmute and speak. Any one, just one. One is enough. Gold. Huh? Gold. Huh? I didn't hear you. Steel. What did he say? Devadarshan, can you repeat? I asked you to name any material. Yes, yeah, speak. Speak. He said. Huh? It's not clear. Gold. Arfan, can you try Arfan? Steel, gold. Steel, gold. He get. He got many. Adinath. Another one. Don't repeat the same. Petrol. Petrol. Very good. Existence. Petrol, diesel, water. All these are coming under material noun. Abrid. You want to say something else? And diesel. Diesel. Okay. So you know what are material nouns? They are the substance or materials with which things are made. If I say. Uh, 
is made of papers. Which is the material now in that? Papers. Paper. Okay. This table is made of wood. Yes. Fill some petrol in your car. Petrol. Petrol. Very clearly. We'll just quickly go through some examples. Then we'll move to the next noun. I think material nouns are very easy. Okay. Yes. Yes. Can you see the board, children? No. Yes. 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 Ma'am, some disturbances. You do one thing. Better all of you mute. So while I'm writing, all of you mute yourselves. So it won't be a disturbance for others. You can all easily listen without any disturbance. Sanahin, just mute. Mute. Okay. I can hear somebody talking behind you. Better you mute. Okay. I'm doing. Huh? I'm doing. You don't have to write uh, the whole sentence. You can just find the material nouns of these sentences and just write in your rough book. Okay? Not in the notebook, in the rough book. Yeah. You don't have to write the whole sentence, okay? No need to write the whole sentence. Just pick out the material nouns of it. Mommy, do write this. You don't have to write fully. Just pick out the material nouns. Just pick out the material nouns. And just write in your rough book. Okay? Hope it's clear. Man? Yeah. What is fourth one? The fourth one, the brass is yellow. The brass is yellow. And that is first one. First one. Gold is an expensive metal. Remember the second one. Huh? What is second? Second one. Cotton is a natural fiber. Ma'am, some disturbance are coming. All of you mute. Is it okay now? Hope it will be okay. Okay. I've written six questions you have to find the material nouns of it hope you started writing how many of you finished
Ya, Lea. Okay, Arfan. Quickly you write. I just want you to write only the answers. So quickly you can do. Anne Maria has finished. Quickly, make it fast. Two minutes. Yeah, Eva finished. Prajwal, have you finished? Yes. Then, Nevin, I mean, Sapna. Okay. Sapna, better you rename it, okay? It's written Nevin Sony. Gauri Nanda, okay. Jeswin, okay. Now, shall we start reading? We'll start with Jeswin. Unmute Jeswin. Yeah, unmute. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, read the first one. Gold is an... Mm. Expensive metal. Okay. Which are the material nouns there? Gold. Only gold? Metal. Metal also. So we got two material nouns over here. Gold and metal. Now, Eva Rose, can you read the second one? Eva, unmute and read. Cotton is a natural fiber. Yes. Cotton and fiber. Very good. Cotton and fiber. Gauri Nanda, try to read the third one. Unmute. Yes. Can you hear me, Gauri? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Read the answer. Water is essential for us. Essential for us. Yes. Water. Hmm. Okay, only water. Anything else? Essential. Essential. What do you mean by essential? What is the meaning of essential? Huh? Needed. It's mm. needed. Water. Without water, can we live? Yes, ma'am. No. Essential meaning is needed. Okay. Now, Anupama, can you read the fourth? The brass is yellow. Okay, the brass is yellow. Do you know what brass is? No, ma'am. No. Uh, you have lanterns at home, which we use to light in the evening. Lantern. What is lantern? Light. Find it out. Find it out. Today's, for you, this is a work. Find the meaning of lantern. That is made of brass. <laughs> The Hindus used to light up lanterns in the evenings. Okay, find it out. Okay, then fifth one. Fifth one, Anselin. Just unmute and say the fifth one, Anselin. And floor? Yeah, it's flow. It's flow. I need some flow to make cake. Flow is the only material noun over there. Leia? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, the last one, sixth one. She has a shop for diamond. Yes. Diamonds. Diamonds. Very good. Diamonds. Hope everyone got it fully correct. Yes. Anyone got yes. anyone wrong? Any answer? Is no. it correct? Is it correct? Just raise mm -hmm. your hands if it is correct. All of you got fully correct? Yes. Huh? Very good, very good. Very good, very good. So material nouns are very easy, isn't it? Hmm? Is it very mm. difficult? Is mm. it very difficult? No, ma'am. Very easy. I don't easy. think so. It's very easy. Now, which noun is remaining in the list? Abstract noun. Yeah, abstract noun. So I'll just start abstract noun and I'll complete in the next class. I'll give you an introduction to abstract nouns. Okay, so we have learned proper nouns, common nouns, material nouns, collective nouns. And 
abstract noun is different from all these kinds of nouns you know why i'll tell you the reason so all these nouns like proper common material collective we can see them we can touch them even we can some of uh, it we can smell hmm? but this abstract as the name suggests it's just an abstract we cannot see them we cannot touch them or smell them hmm? they are abstract we can only feel it we can only feel it oh. now you must be wondering what kind of nouns are these okay oh. so they are abstract abstract nouns are the names given to quality your feelings your ideas and your state okay it's a new thing for you isn't it they are the names given to quality you know that humans are having lot of qualities hmm? then state then ideas then their feelings it's a name given to all these things abstract nouns are the names given to your quality state feelings and also your actions we'll see an example of it for example if i say wisdom or intelligence can you see wisdom no can you count wisdom no can you touch wisdom no say yes or no 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 if i no. say beauty beauty it's not beautiful i said beauty can you touch beauty no of course you can touch a beautiful person can you touch beauty no you can just feel it isn't it then sadness sadness yeah. happiness can you just see them no can you count 1 2 3 like that no no you can only feel it so that is abstract now they are the names given to your feelings qualities action and state it's not the other state state means being something for example you all are children you all are children so i can say you all are in your childhood have you heard the word before childhood childhood yes childhood yes. what is childhood the state of being a child is known as childhood so the childhood is coming under abstract noun mm -hmm. then the state of being a woman what will you call i give an example yeah very good somebody said it womanhood the state of being a man manhood manhood the state of being a boy boyhood 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 the state of being a mother motherhood 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 and father motherhood father fatherhood so all these are abstract nouns you got many abstract nouns now <laughs> so what all words we got now the hood words they all are coming under abstract that is the example i gave for state then can anyone give me an example amiel is feeling sleepy amiel are you feeling sleepy amiel unmute unmute give me two examples of your feelings <clears throat> feelings sleepy huh? <clears throat> what did he say Just say it again Sleepy. Pity. Mm. What did you say? Sleeping. No, no. I asked the feelings. <laughs> When you feel happy, what will you say that feeling? Happy. Happiness, isn't it? Yes. yes. If you feel sad. Sadness. Sad. If you feel Sadness. angry, it's not angerness. It's anger. Okay, it's anger. <laughs> Got it? they are the examples yes. of feelings then action if you laugh it's coming as laughter laughter is an example of an action then if you are strong strength is the abstract form of it so what is an abstract now can anyone define what is an abstract now they are the feelings. names given to feelings who is going to say that who can say that clearly raise your hand 
Try it. Try it. If you try, you will get. You'll never forget. Just try. Yeah. Ameya, want to try? Yeah. Ameya, just see. Unmute. An extra noun is a usual name of a um, place. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Did I say please? Did I say please? Eva. Quality. Uh -huh. Quality, yes. Eva, just try to say it clearly for others. <laughs> A abstract noun is an a abstract noun. An abstract, an abstract noun. noun is a name of uh, ideas. Yes. Feelings. Yes. Very good. State. State. Mm -hmm. Quality. Quality. Okay. Very good, Eva. Very good. Start now. Did you get the definition? Yes. Yes. Oh, now we will see some examples of abstract nouns. Yeah. See, you can see a lot of. Uh, are you? One second, one second, one second. Abstract. Common noun, adjective, verb. I did see, obey, admit, product, verb. Adjective. Biter. Huh? Board has gone. You see the board now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'll write few adjectives. Do you know all these are coming under adjectives? You know what is an adjective? Adidev, unmute. Gauri can unmute. Parvati can unmute. Because I made you all in mute because of the noise. Some of you can unmute. Sapna can unmute. And Maria, okay. Now, you know what is an adjective? Do you know what is an adjective? Yes. Yes. And Maria, then tell me what is an adjective? Yeah. Adjective. If I say she's a beautiful girl, what is the adjective in it? And Maria, if I say she's a beautiful girl, what is the adjective in that sentence? Beautiful girl. Uh, it's just beautiful. Don't say girl. So, what is the job of an adjective? We go back to the old topic we learned. Annabel, are you feeling sleepy, Annabel? Annabel, can you hear me, Annabel? Can you hear me? Speak. Unmute and speak. No, oh, ma'am. Ah, yes. You, do you know what is an adjective? What is the job of an adjective in a sentence? It describes a noun, isn't it? Listen. Listen to me, Annabel. Describes a noun. Henry. Are you here, Henry? What is the job of an adjective? Unmute and say. Describes a describe. noun. Yes, it describes a noun. So you, you, know, you know that adjectives can be changed into abstract nouns. We have learned abstract nouns. Now we'll see how can we change these adjectives. I've written three adjectives over here. How will you change it? Kind. That we set now as an example of an abstract. 
How can you change this kind into an abstract form? Any idea? What will be the abstract form of kind? Who can say? Yeah, Leia. Leia. Sweet Leia. Unmute and see. Even Amaya can unmute. Leia. Kindness. Yeah, Leia unmute. Kindness. Then, what is abstract form of long? It's not longness anyway. Yeah. Have you heard this word length? Long. Length? Long. Length. Length is an abstract form. Then, strong. Strength. 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 Very good. Like this, we can form abstract from this adjectives. Then beautiful. I, I told you this. Beautiful. Beauty. Beautiful is uh, adjective. And what is abstract form of it? Beauty. 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 Look at the spelling. Then, wise. Wise. Uh, wisdom. Very good. Wisdom. Uh, Intelligent. Smart. No, no, no. Same word you have to use. How can you change the word? Intelligence. Intelligence. Very good. See, we are getting many abstract nouns now. All these are coming under abstract nouns. Kindness, length, strength, beauty, wisdom. Can you count them? No. Can you see them? Can you touch them? All these things? No. They are abstract. Hope you got what is an abstract noun now. Now, we'll continue abstract nouns in the next class also. Okay. Because I know that many are there to learn in abstract nouns. There are many abstract nouns. How to form abstract nouns from verbs, common nouns. So, what are the nouns we learn today? Who's going to say that? Henry will say. Very good. Henry, unmute and see. We learn two nouns now in this class. Which are the two nouns, Henry? Unmute. Unmute. Dear, please unmute. I cannot hear you. Unmute. Yeah, now I can. Material noun. Yes. Mm. Then the name of the other noun, the last noun. Collective noun. No, no, no. We have not learned collective nouns now. What is the last noun, Henry? Abstract. abstract. Don't worry, I'll help you. Abstract noun. Abstract noun. Yes. Now tell me, Henry, what is material noun? I'll ask yes. abstract to somebody else. I'll ask to John. John, be ready, okay? Yes. Henry, say what is material noun? Material. It's very easy, material nouns. Try. Try, try. Or you give an example of material noun, Henry. Give me two examples of a material noun. Gold is expensive. Okay, okay. I just want only the word. Okay, gold you said. One more. Metal. Okay. Then, Sanahin, can you give an example of a material noun? Sanahin, unmute. 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 Yes, Sanahin. Can you give one example of a material noun? Can you hear me, Sanahin? Yeah, say one example of a material noun. Material. Uh, yes. Say any name of a metal. Metal. Marble. Marble. Then. <laughs> Somebody else is saying the answer. Steel. Steel. Okay. 
Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Sanahi, you have yeah. to learn it very well. Okay. Now, now, now. Okay. So we finish material nouns. So what is an abstract noun? Dia will say what is an abstract noun. Emil, listen here. Don't do any other other job now. Emil, yeah. unmute Dia. Say what is an abstract noun. Do you unmute? We're going to finish fast. What is an abstract now? Then hmm. an abstract now is a name given to what all things? The name of huh. a person. Huh? Is it a person? Abstract now? Just now we told. Is it a name of a person? Please raise your hand. Those who know, raise your hands. Yeah, Abel. Abel, just say Abel. Unmute. Unmute. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Say what is an abstract noun? We are going to finish. Abstract noun is sir. Hmm. Hmm. Name given to what? All things quickly. The ideas. Very good. Then. State. Yes. Uh, we said quality and feelings also. Okay. They are the names given to. They are listen properly. They are the names given to. The quality. States. states uh, ideas, ideas. Actions. Etc. Okay. Just read the workbook. The definitions are given there. Plus I will be sending the notes to you. So all of you read it very clearly. I'll send the notes. Write it down. Are you all writing the notes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So shall we meet in the next class? Our next class is on Thursday. Okay. So bye. Thank you, ma'am. Take care. Uh